was a bit of a hectic month, no doubt thanks to two big Nintendo first party releases as well as E3 taking up a good week of the world's eyes. Now that's over, it's time to settle down with a more chilled affair with what July has to offer. There are some absolutely juicy looking games coming and I wanted to share with you the 5 that you should pay attention to the most, without further ado, in release date order. The Nintendo Switch is building up a steady stream of fighting games for itself. There are a ton of Neo Geo fighters, a nice Street Fighter collection, Blaze Blue, and the upcoming Dragon Ball Fighters and Smash Ultimate to think about in the future. One game that's piqued many a gamer's interest is Pocket Rumble, a stylish retro inspired 1v1 fighter looking like a Neo Geo Pocket Color game. Following the rules of the system, this game uses just two buttons to pull off all of its special moves and combos, and it looks excellent. It may seem basic, but we wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of depth under the hood, while with online play being promised as flawless. This cool looking game is finally ready to be released on July the 6th. Shining Resonance Refrain may be a port of a 4 year old PlayStation 3 game, but there's definitely enough for Westerners to get excited about. For a start, it was never released in English prior to this Nintendo Switch port, plus the fact there's a whole new story episode, plus 150 pieces of DLC are included, and there are more party members. This action RPG is an entry in the well-loved but often unwesternized Shining series, well, at least these days. Fans of games such as the Tale series will probably find a lot of similarities with this one. Hopefully it will be resonating with the Western audience when it lands on July the 10th. Octopath Traveler. Now, I've got to admit, I am super excited about this release. Square are seemingly turning back the time to the JRPGs of the Golden Era. While they tried and only somewhat scratched that itch with I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere, Octopath Traveler looks to be well on the money. I haven't kept up with the demos as I want to keep it fresh during my playthrough, but Brian over on the website switchwatch.co.uk has been documenting his experience thus far. It's safe to say he's a bit excited. Promising up to 100 hours of interwoven gameplay and story, we'll find out if Octopath Traveler has what it takes to be a classic when it releases on the 13th of July. With Nintendo not wanting to be outdone with a release, you know you're never too far away from a Wii U port. This month's offering is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This dioramic 3D puzzle platformer charmed the socks of many a Wii U gamer as the plucky little hero starred in his first game. Perfectly sculpted, bite-sized little puzzles and a more budget price means that gamers new to this game would be well advised to give it a shot. There's even a nice short little demo on the eShop for you to try out. We'll be finding out if Captain Toad should still be discovered when it lands on July the 13th. Okay, so this is a Japanese release, but I am so ultra excited for this one that I really don't care. Taiko no Tatsujin is one of my favourite niche franchises and one that I want to share with the world. I live in China and even in my small local arcade, there are a couple of Taiko no Tatsujin machines busily taking away people's cash and dishing out the fun. Basically it's a wacky drum based rhythm game filled to the brim with weird and wonderful music that you can drum along to with buttons, touchscreen or the joy-cons as drumsticks. Either way four people can gather together to have a drum beating good time and I for one cannot wait a moment longer. Upon release there will be no English but apparently a patch will be following later to include it, making the eyes of every importer light up. I know I certainly will be drumming away when Taiko no Tatsujin for Nintendo Switch slams down on July 19th. Okay guys, those were 5 games that you should pay attention to in July. Obviously there will always be some surprise releases, the thought of which excites us very much. We, indeed we still don't know when Dark Souls or Okami will be here, so who knows, maybe it will be July, fingers crossed. As always we can't fit every interesting game into our lineup, so to finish it out, here are some honourable mentions. In the comments below, let us know what I should have mentioned. <laughs>